Hey, Facebook, happy Monday. I'm coming to you um, on Mondays to talk about building a new home. So Thursdays, we're still doing a status of the market update, but I wanted to talk about what it is like to build a home. And I have access to seeing your comments. So if you're able to comment a question, I'm happy to answer your questions about building a house. So every Monday, you can find me at 9 a.m. Uh, and ask your burning questions about building a home. So um, today I want to talk about some few things about building a home right now. Um, lumber prices is a big topic of the day with new builders. They are talking about lumber prices going up. And this week, actually, prices are supposed to go up. How much are they going up? I don't know. I've heard anything from $2,000 to $5,000 to $10,000 um, for each property. You want to talk to me because each builder is going to tell you something different. Um, they are, some of them are saying they're not negotiating. We've seen that happen with some of the builders. They will negotiate nothing. Some builders will negotiate a little bit. Um, and there's still builders that are actually willing to negotiate. Um, we have been in a declining market. So for builders to think that we can go from uh, depressed economic times all the way to um, really high seller's market, which to be honest, there's a lack of inventory right now because of the lack of land that's available. Um, so what happened with COVID during mid March and April, the builders or developers, sorry. So if you don't understand how this works, you've got land that's owned by the developer. So the land is owned by the developer, then there's builders that buy land and build homes. So builders would be Paysetter, Coventry, Dolce Vita, Sterling Homes, a whole list of builders. Developers are MLC, um, there's Melcor, there's uh, lots of different, and Rohit, there's different uh, developers. Now, sometimes you'll see developers and builders have the same name. So, for example, Hopewell ha is a developer, but they're also a builder, same as Rohit. Um, so, careful when you try to figure out the de that definition. But anyways, developers um, did not release as much land as they were intending to because of speculation of what pandemic times were going to do. Of course, none of us knew what was going to happen in April. And so instead of servicing the land, because you'll see lots of land in areas such as Granville, I always notice there's like all this land, but there's no services. And what services? So it's utilities running through the land in order to um, then build a house. So if there's no services on the land, the builders can't buy them and then the builders can't hold them. Developers chose not to service because it costs them money, obviously. And if it sits for a long time, they end up needing to be discounting them. And they didn't want to discount anymore. It's been four years of um, really hard times for our economy and they want to be careful with how many lots they released. So they held back and it's causing us a landlock only because we had a lot of sales in the last couple of months. So with builders, um, they haven't had been able to buy as many. So usually what happens is builders buy a certain um, pocket of land. So if you want to build on a specific lot, you might actually have to build with that specific builder because that's who owns that lot. Um, if you have, for example, before some a builder bought the land beside me, it was owned by the developer. So then you could build with anybody, even not a builder, you could even just hire your own trades. Um, so there's a lot of different dynamics there, but the builders, um, they're the ones that set the prices. They usually just pass that lot price over directly over. They don't usually upcharge that lot price. I'm saying usually because I'm just saying normal practices and I'm not saying that every builder does that. Um, so the lot and the house. So the lot might be anywhere from 120,000 all the way up to 250 or 300,000 depends on where you're building, how big the lot is. And we'll talk about that maybe next week in terms of size and pocket size. But just want to talk to you about more of the lot. Um, so the lot's price gets passed over to the builder. Sometimes the developer has discounts, but like I said, they don't want to be discounting right now. So that's why they didn't release as much. So that means the price is going to go up. Developers can charge more and builders can charge more. Now the prices of lumber, that's a big cost and expense to the builder. So any builder that is still building homes, 
they're they're thinking about they have to accommodate for this they have no idea what that is going to look like this week we will see and i will report back next week to see what change of prices we've seen with some of the builders that i work with so we work with quite a few builders and have some good established relationships with them so if you don't know this when you work with a realtor like myself I actually build relationships with the different builder sales reps and they can cross sell. I really enjoy working with builder sales reps that can cross sell. Um, so I'm noticing you got there's five of you guys on. If you want to put a comment below, please go ahead and do that. I'm happy to answer your questions. So when you work with someone like myself, I can talk to the relationships I have and we can see what's available all across the board. I can also tell you about what's going on with, the, with their discounting. I can also showcase you the different homes, even the builders I don't always work with, um, the building quality. Um, so in terms of lumber prices going up, it could, yes, it's true. How much it should be going up doesn't mean it needs to just spike up. A um, little bit, I'm a little wary about builders who are just going to be saying, well, we're just going to not discount things anymore. So what kind of discounts are you able to get from the builders? There are different things prior to, I'd say, four years ago, they used to give you very little. They used to give you nothing off the price. Maybe they throw in a free upgrade or so. Um, but now we've seen, let's say before this lumber price issue came up, we've seen anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 to like six, seven, eight percent off. Now things have changed in the, over the summer as the markets picked up, just like in the resale world, the demand has gone up. And so their pricing and their discounting has gone down. Um, there used to be free basements, but now sometimes there's no free basements. So there's all, and things change all the time. So when I'm working with you and telling you, hey, if we don't write an offer by this point, that deal is gone, that's, I'm just passing the message along. Um, is it a scare tactic? Sometimes it's real, it's not a scare tactic. I know middle of July, paysetters pricing changed. They're still very competitive and I think is still one of the best builders to work with. And so, but they did change their discounting. Um, I know that Coventry, Sterling, all these builders who have spec inventory, including Paysetter, in the last two months, they've been almost cleared out of everything. I know this because I've been trying to find properties for my clients and the spec home inventory is very little to nothing. Now, what does spec home mean? Spec home is a home that the builder has already started to work on. They've already ordered everything. They've picked everything. They've picked the lot. They've picked the colors and the layout, everything's already being done. It could be at any place in the process, whether it be framing, drywall, um, kitchen, completely done. Those are all called spec homes. You can buy them at any point in that purchase. Um, a lot of, of my clients want immediate possession. So they want the home to be completely done so they can move in, just like if you're buying resale. Typically these builders do have some inventory, but we have seen them all go pending or sold in the last couple months, again, because of demand. When people on resale see the value in new home, then they kind of just swap over. Um, so is it still a good idea to build a house right now? Well, that's a question to ask yourself. What are you looking for? What are their criteria? Is it timeline? Because building a house typically takes anywhere from six to 12 months. Now, when I say six months, that means the actual build time. Don't forget before you build a house, there's paperwork to be done. There's an offer to be written. There's conditions to be met. Then there's also after that point, there's a whole bunch of figuring things out depending on what stage you're at on the build. If you're building from scratch, there's a whole bunch of things to figure out, including design, layout, signing off on the plans, and then also getting permits. And that's also waiting with the city, which you have no control over. So is timeline really important to you? Because you've got to think about that. And then your budget and your location and the type of house. If you're looking for a home that is close to River Valley and you want to build, but you have a lower budget, you're going to be probably building an infill house and that it may not fit your budget. So anyways, today was meant to be a just quick snippet of building a house. I'm here every Monday from nine o'clock to bit, apparently 9.30. I think I started a little late today because I got a call from a client. But if you have any questions that want to be answered, you can pop them on here under the comments, you can send me a message beforehand, or if you want to chat, happy to talk to you. And next week, what I'll do is I will talk about the different builders and how to pick a builder. If you can't wait till next Monday, go check my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash live in Edmonton. There's a bunch of building videos there and we'll talk to you guys next week.